I'm making some upgrades to our machine trainer. And in this case, I need to get six cables through the side of this cabinet. And typically you would line up six holes through here and then use some type of compression fitting for it. Now the obstacle I have with this is, first I have a servo motor. It's not gonna fit over it. I have an ethernet cable. Yeah, it's not gonna fit over it. And then I have an M12 connector and it's not gonna fit over it. The choices I see done out in the field are usually very brutal. I see these connectors cut and then people try to kind of sandwich it back together or they use a grossly oversized connector and you'll see them wad tape and everything. But there are some really innovative ways to do this that I learned about from Dean while I was at Phoenix Contact. And I've been waiting for an opportunity to use one of these multi-connector blocks right here. So first, if I pop this apart, then we can see there's six modular cells in this particular one. They are actually split, so I can take and just put this around my cable, and then once I have them all assembled, I can put them back together, and I'm gonna have a really nice field installation. Also, instead of lining up six holes right here, I'm only allowed to put one hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay out this hole and cut it. Mark my four holes and cut it out. Now we can bolt this outer frame on. Now we just want to poke the wires through our connector. And now we can just wrap the connectors right around them. And now we'll just pop them back into the housing. Snap the two halves back together. And then just press it in. This is by far cleaner than my typical installation of lining up a bunch of compression fittings. And along with the other field installation tips that we've been learning, this is going to make for a really nice control panel. And I've created this playlist right here to summarize everything we've learned.